Now, you may remember not too long ago, we were, of course, at the uh, Walsall Manor Hospital, where a brand new campaign was founded. And a few months later, it's now in practice for its first ever event. Now, Professor Gatcher, I'd lovely to catch up with you. Um, it's a very exciting day. Tell us about this, this brand new campaign that was launched. I've got together today probably about six or seven communities. We've got Afghani community, we've got white communities, we'll be having black communities. And uh, we've also got people from Tesco, we've got the diving club. So we've got loads of people today. We should have about 50 people today to help clean the canal. We've cleaned a lot of it already over the last few weeks, but I'm hoping that over the next few weeks, we'll be able to clear a lot of the rubbish that is in the canals. But most important is actually the education and awareness. Awareness that plastic is horrible to our environment. I think there's so much that we can do, and the more we raise profile, the better it's going to be for our future generations. Now, really quickly, of course, today marks the first of many. Um, so what is next for, for WhatsApp? Are we going to see very uh, similar events to this in the future? Absolutely, but this is the biggest one that we've got. In fact, we should be having a big picnic very shortly from the Aina Hub ladies, who should be pitching up in a few minutes. But the next one is actually at the canal down the road, which is at Paul Free, which is the worst canal there is in terms of pollution. And McDonald's will be doing a monthly clean with us. And they are sending us 22 people who are coming to clean the canal with the children, the secondary children, from, the, um, from Blue Coat School. So it should be quite a big event, even that. Not as big as this one, but watch the space. I think there'll be lots... Uh, coming to the at event as well. Well, Professor Gatcher, thank you very much. A very busy day, so we'll let you get off. You and of much. course, uh, it could not be done without a massive team of volunteers, of which we'll be meeting some of them in just a sec. Well, we are back down then on the canals of Walsall. And as you can see, uh, there's a big team of people behind us as well, all gathered around, uh, ready to set off for today's uh, first big pick as part of the uh, Walsall Against Single Use Plastic campaign. Now, Karen, you are from Boldmere Divers. Um, so, what is your involvement in today's proceedings? Well, as a group of divers, we're really concerned about the environment because it's something that we actually dive in continually. And with the litter, we're seeing the impact in the local rivers, which go down to the sea, and, you know, just devastation what we're seeing with the fish and the whole environment that it's impacting. And we just want to get in at the grassroots, try and stop it from getting down to the sea in the first place. So it's really important for us that we're doing this in the Midlands and the local community. So what sort of thing are you seeing on a, a daily diving experience? And how long is that something that you've noticed? notice is a real issue for you guys? Well I've been diving probably for about 15 years now and I've noticed um, you know the impact that it's seen initially that we didn't see very much but now it's continual plastic bottles paper bags um, and non-existent but you do see the, the plastic bags which is absolutely horrendous getting caught in all the trees uh, you've seen animals actually using the plastic bottles as inhabit, you know, somewhere to live, which is, you know, horrible that uh, we've eroded their environment, that they're having to use that as something to live in now. How much of a, an issue do you think that the single-use plastic issue is? And, and do you think people are quick to adopt, you know, maybe simple lifestyle changes like today? Today's a good example of how we can kind of slowly start to work at where some of that, that plastic waste? I think it certainly has. I know in our dive club we're more conscious of it. You know, we don't use single plastics anymore. We've all gone over to using um, recycled stuff that's been recycled, recycled. So us as a diving community, we're definitely seeing, you know, the difference that we're changing ourselves. And we constantly spread that word to everybody who aren't divers and just say, look, this is what we're doing to our environment. Recycling's a big, massive thing through lots of different organisations now. So I, know, I believe Tesco's are trialling recycling units in different stores. So it is something that like major supermarkets are looking at the recycling. And do you think um, that, that more and more pressure is being applied on, on bigger corporations to kind of eliminate what, what they're doing and, and get out of the community? I mean, we, we like to see community champions up and down the country doing what you're doing. Yeah, um, all larger Tesco stores do have community champions and everybody is individual to their role. So at the end of the day, we're all responsible, you know, whether it's a corner shop or whether it's a big uh, company. At the end of the day, we all have to make a difference. And it's just taking that first step and being the first person to pick up that bit of litter like we're doing in the community. It's also about shopping smart as well. So if you are seeing something on the shelf, you might opt for sort of paper packaging, that kind of thing, paper and cardboard. Do you think people are shopping smarter now when it comes to choosing what they're going to take from the shelf? I think they are. People are more conscious about what they're buying, but also, you know, we're conscious about what we're supplying our products in.